Welcome to the 2024 Marywood Women's Basketball Preview presented by The Woodward. I'm your host, Vincent Goldschmidt, and alongside me, Coach Tara Machaka. Coach, how are we doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course. The season is a couple weeks away. How are we feeling, uh, you know, your first year back in a few years? How are we feeling about your squad this year? It, it's really exciting to be back. I, my, my time at Marywood was unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be back here and be able to, to build this program back. And um, we have some great, great experience in our upperclassmen. And then we brought some great underclassmen talent in. So I think there's a really good mesh. So I think the excitement is really high. Um, the girls are really eager to, to get out there and start competing against someone other than each other. Um, so so that, that's, that's been really fun. Speaking of your squad, uh, you have two transfers coming in this year and seven freshmen. Um, what was the recruiting process like and how did you rejuvenate a squad that was, you know, only had about nine or ten players? I think the, the day I got the call and was offered the job, that night I started getting on the phone and um, my first call was to uh, the Bittmender twins from Scranton High School. I coached them in AAU. I knew that they were still kind of open in the recruiting process um, and, and made a call to them and, and said, let's get you on campus right away and then started reaching out to as many people as I could, I could think of in the basketball world to try to try to get a couple more bodies in here. Um, Olivia Chulo was somebody I reached out to immediately as well um, to make sure we got her back. She was healthy, back playing. Um, so I, I think just really hit the ground running and try to try to get some of the local players too back back interested in the program. So you mentioned Liv Chulo. Um, she missed all of last season. Mm -hmm. I believe she was injured. Um, what is her role going to be this year? You know, for her first two years, seemed to be the focal point of the offense. Mm -hmm. But this year, with uh, a lot more people coming in and kind of having more variety in the offense, what is her role going to be this year? I think the biggest change for her is going to be the leadership part. Um, she, she's she's done a lot over the summer, getting ready physically. I think um, her stepping more into that vocal type leadership role, um, being able to kind of take charge, um, a lot of pressure, like you said, will be taken off her in terms of scoring. So I think that's going to allow her to play a lot more freely. Um, she could play at different positions, which is really unique about her. Her size, she's about 5'8", 5'9", but can play one through five pretty much. Um, so I think those players surrounding her are going to take a lot of pressure off, make her play a little bit, a little bit freer. But I think she's she's done a great job so far in terms of being vocal and making sure everybody's doing the right thing and they're in the right place at the right time. So I think that maturity on her behalf, taking that year off last year to help recover from an injury, but also kind of watch the game, miss the game, learn the game, has helped her tremendously. Okay. Now with her absence mm -hmm. um, and with the team last year, offensively they've really struggled. One mm -hmm. of the worst teams in the AC and points per game, even defensively weren't that great. Um, what is going to be the focal point? What is the strategy? What is the, the team meetings looking like when it comes to an offensive game plan, a defensive game plan. What are you trying to change from previous years? So we are going to be a very defensive-minded team. I think that's the key. If, if you could defend and rebound, you could win in this league. And I think preaching that on a daily basis, that defense and rebounding are what are, are going to win you games, getting them to buy into the fact that if we play on the defensive end, the scoring is going to come, and making sure that we're, we're, we're really focusing in on holding teams to certain points. You know, We'll set a magic number every game that we have to hold teams to. Buying into that, if all five of us are playing defense, we're going to be okay. Um, I think offensively, it's going to look a lot different because we brought in a transfer point guard, Megan Cavoli, who is outstanding, it, not just in terms of the, the skill level basketball-wise, but in terms of leading a team. She's a true point guard that understands the game. She played at a very high level. She played a year at Shippensburg when they went to the NCAA tournament. Um, she played behind the PSAC's all-time leading scorer, Ariel Jones, so she got to guard her every day in practice. So on the defensive side, she's very, very tough. But then being able to allow Rachel McDonald and Mia Bloom in their natural two guard positions, I think that that's going to open things a lot, uh, open up a lot for us. So I looked at your schedule. Uh, nine of the first ten games are at home. <laughs> Was there any strategy behind that? Was it just? Uh, trying to rally the home crowd. What was the what was the thought process behind that many home games? Uh, I'll be honest. A lot of the games were set when I, when I got the job. Um, I, there's a couple of them that we had to fill in here or there. Um, that I tried as much as I can to get us to get us home, knowing that we were going to a tournament in Nashville over the break. That's a long trip, um, and we do end end uh, in December. There's two away games in that schedule. So trying to trying to. Uh, load that heavy especially with this new court too this beautiful <laughs> north court you want to show that off right <laughs> so you are the winningest coach in married women's basketball history um in your first tenure though uh you had never won a conference mm -hmm. now in the conference that you guys were in before it was i believe at most 16 teams the ac only has seven now mm -hmm. so what is 
the game plan to finally take home <laughs> that elusive conference championship. I, I wish there was an easy answer to that. <laughs> um, we talk about it every day, though, and we talk about the fact. I always, I always refer back to the banner, and there's the banner hanging as you're looking at the flag during the national anthem. You're staring at a banner that has a 1987 NCAA women's women's basketball tournament appearance. <laughs> uh, and I used to say it all the time when we were here, when I was here the first time around. That's that's your goal every year, right? When the conference gets to the NCAA tournament. Um, but I think the, the the focus is again going back to defense and rebounding. If you do those two things. I think that will take care of itself, and that's got to be the main focus. Yeah. Yes, that goal is to, to get there and win it. Um, the conference is a lot different, but there are a lot of teams that are very similar, so mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with a lot of teams in the league. Um, even being at Wilkes for those five years that I was there, we played a lot of those teams, familiar with the coaches and some of the players on those teams too, so I think that'll help us a little bit too. Obviously, the goal is always to win the conference, mm -hmm. win a championship, but what are some other goals you have for your team overall and then maybe specifically certain players on your team? I think that the main goal coming in is building that culture, um, having pride and wearing the, the, the Marywood women's basketball gear, the pacer, pride in your teammates, pride in, pride in the school and um, bringing, bringing that group together and enjoying the experience. Right, That's what it's about at this level. It's, it's, you, you have a privilege of being able to play a college sport um, but you also have to make those sacrifices that your, your friends might not, not have to make. Um, you're putting the time in and the effort in, but enjoy it while you're doing it. You get four years, and I say it all the time, it goes fast. Right? I, look, I look back to 20, 20 plus years ago that things that I, I, I probably took for granted at the time and didn't realize that, hey, you, you should, you've got to make the most of every opportunity you get. So that's what we're, we're focusing in on every day is every day is a, is a gift. You get to, get to go out here and do what you love to do. Enjoy it while you're here. Coach, thank you for coming <laughs> on. That's going to do it for the 2024 Marywood Women's Basketball Preview presented by The Woodward. Make sure to check out everything The Woodward has to offer by looking at the website and make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube. And as always, I'm Vincent Goldschmidt. Go Pacers.